Uh, Ascension to Ire, it's a classic kind of map. It's got two watchtowers at the middle, uh, mm -hmm. and that really plays, uh, obviously, a central role here. Uh, so a lot of the games are really encouraged to be macro because you can take the left side of the map, right side of the map, split the map in half, and then kind of play the kind of mind-reading games by circling the forces around the watchtower. That is definitely one of the most popular maneuvers that can be observed in this map. <laughs> well, before we introduce the players, I want to give a big shout out to Traffic. He is a polygoner, former observer for the event. Welcome, dude. I'm glad you came out to support us. And uh, yeah, we'll play the one where I'm eating jerky next. Um, but that said, this is a ZVZ, because here on the top left hand side of Ascension to Ire, he's got Lings moving out on the map. He is currently uh, the last player who won a game. It is Nocturnal Gaming's very own Serial. Spawning in the bottom right is the next uh, competitor, it's Sipestorm War. Okay, now I really want to get straight into the uh, casting. Uh, it seems that Serio's starting build order was 1312. He started with the fast gas, and mm -hmm. compared to that, Warren started with E17 gas and then pool with no hatch uh, with a very late hatchery so as i always say so what counters a 17 hatch you, you, you zerg players would usually say it's the 13 12 but what counters the 13 12 it's countered by a larger pool with a later hatch yeah. so with the uh with that said the attack is coming right now and it seems that there's no larva that's immediately ready for warren right now yeah warren actually usually the more aggressive player but serial inversing the roles here on them a little bit with these banelings rolling in it's gonna be really hard to do any kind of defense but well, i'm not sure if the queen on this natural should be made i think it's better if that is canceled and a spine crawler is made but oh my goodness look at this uh link has to be held on a whole position Oh my goodness, these Banelings are great at uh, detonating the Queens. But unfortunately, there's just too many Banelings right here. Yeah, dude, so many Banelings. We've got 13 workers now for Serial, only 7 for Warren. He's the 6 now, half of what he started with. This right. is looking really, really bad for Sykes Home Warren. Uh, it seems most likely that was. The Syria is just going to keep on attacking and that's probably the best choice because he knows that he'll be at a larvae disadvantage and with mm -hmm. the three queens I think he'll be able to hold quite nicely with the if the follow-ups are just appropriate right now yeah this is uh this is looking looking really intense man so four links coming in getting a little survey of the land sees that the queens are holding that ramp using this opportunity to do a little bit of damage to the hatchery and try to pull these queens right on out four more links coming in trying to oh actually gonna go ahead and get away there is a baneling on top of that ramp as well so I can... right uh these <gasps> oh, now getting four links that is may not be a big deal oh he should not fight with the drones he needs to save every single drone right now he needs to click the mineral patch down in the natural so that it would uh, phase through now at this point it seems that syria is content to go on a macro game and with that overlord he has co now confirmed that he's not going to be aggressive anymore so with the spirit larva count he should just mm -hmm. continue droning up yeah, this queen knocking that overlord right on back for the damage has been done. It has seen what it needed to see. Um, this overlord might not actually get away, but with such low supply counts, I don't think it would matter. Um, I would say that this is almost worth it because that is immediately when you are able to tell there is going to be no more aggression mm -hmm. and he's going for a macro attack. But it seems that as we speak, Sierra is playing this very clever. He ha he knows that his macro uh, his second dirt hatch is exposed, so now he's actually going for a stronger attack. Now what he has to do is that he has to be able to spot the Overlord that's sitting in front of a natural, so that he does not give away his strategy that easily. Right. He has to find a way to sneak around. Out. But mm -hmm. uh, Warren has got this pretty <laughs> tight. Yeah, dude, Warren's actually a really strong player. I used to train with him quite a bit, and uh, he has really recovered from this exceptionally well. Right. Uh, coming on to Warren, it's it seems that the link speed is done on both sides now. Uh, usually at the start of StarCraft Two, especially in mm -hmm. Wings of Liberty, it was often actually discussed whether if creep is worth it in ZBZ because you, mm -hmm. while you have vision, you also let your enemy units come in faster. Right. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure if this is a good decision because he is actually going for a very strong attack. He's pulling the links and he's mm -hmm. pulling the banes and he's going for a strong attack that he yeah. uh, that Warren won't anticipate. 
yeah, Serial definitely going for a bigger attack. Warren spreading the creep, which may actually benefit Serial more so than Warren, but we'll see. We will definitely see Warren continuing to put drones, though. And with holding all of these units back, um, Serial's going to be able to do an intense amount of damage. His Overlord getting knocked back, as you mentioned, that is the Overlord that would have scouted everything. Now maybe uh, Serial can make something happen. Right, Sarah has to make something happen now. This is a golden timing for attack before mm -hmm. the spine crawl is finished. What's bad is, okay, these links are coming out. The Overlord has not seen it because Sarah was clever enough to move out the Queens and attack. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you the look queen in the production tab? Do you think if you look in the production the tab, it's just, uh, sorry, say what? Do you think the queen moving out was a little bit of a giveaway? Because he has moved out really far. Like, well, that's that kind of uh, what a lot of. I think uh, well, Warren was doing that also. So there's no way to tell. But these lings are coming in now, and Warren has been caught with his pants down. This is just too much lings. Yeah, the bane ling though is there, and oh, he's only going to get a handful of the ling. Two spine colors are there as well. Some good transfusions. The transfuse absolutely has to be gone down at the appropriate timing. Uh, it seems that the spine crawler is doing the job, but there's just too many lings. There's just too many drones that Warren has made. He has pulled the workers now, but if it's been done now, then it's too late. Yeah, Serial totally wrecking this mineral line. The worker count still pretty insane for Warren, though. And he may choose to try and fight with these drones, and the drones are getting us around here with uh, the support of the wings, but there's still so many lings here for Serial. Oh my god. Uh, now so there's no advantage for um, Warren. It used to be that it's uh, workers, but now <laughs> with more lings on the way, with eco drones, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if this can really work. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty intense. But Warren, um, he's gonna be moving across the map. His opponent does have more army spy than him, though. And these, uh, right. this mainly gonna be rolling in, trying to kill some of these workers. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was such a beautiful detonation. Yeah. Oh, my oh God, that was dude. rock solid. Okay, now with that, the supply difference becomes 34 to 23. Now that is an incredible difference at this stage. It's like mm -hmm. one third almost. No, it's 50%. Um, so with that, it seems that the Warren's chance of staying in this <laughs> game is much slim. Oh, that mainly oh, that man. You know why Warren's playing so hard, dude? He's got like 20 kids, so he needs this money to support his family. Like, someone pointed that out. Oh, wow. you just, it makes sense. You just dropped an amazing piece of trivia right there. 20 kids? <laughs> not not quite that many, but a lot. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, hmm, that's more than the li amount of lings out on the battlefield right now. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, man. Well, these links yeah. are really trying to do so much work. Bane Ling's a little floppy detonation there, but it's just been trade after trade after trade this game, dude. Yeah. Uh, while I do have to say that Warren was really damaged by the attack, uh, uh -huh. he is not actually, you know, totally out, but it seems that the supply is slowly favoring Syria right now. Yeah, it, and here's part of it. The uh, queens of Cyril have been able to inject both hatcheries, whereas Warren... Right. Yeah, he, he lost all his queens there for a while. Does he, has he, yeah, he hasn't even had a chance to replace them. So it's really just a larva advantage at this point. Yeah, I think it's actually okay if Serial went for a macro game because he's been attacking all this game. Mm -hmm. War is going to be on the defensive. He won't be making drones for a while. So if he can get that advantage and attack with a roach, like maybe like three mm -hmm. minutes later, I think it will be a definitely a solid tactic he can use. Yeah, man. <laughs> and we've got more army pulling out outside of uh, Warren's base. These Banelings going to be rolling, rolling, rolling. And they're splitting off two Banelings each just oh. enough to kill off major groups of Banelings. And it looks like those Banelings are all going to cancel each other out. Wow, that's actually an amazing trade for Warren because he actually, actually uh, dealt more damage to that. Uh -huh. uh, because, But there's a secondary wave and it just seems that it's too much. If you don't have Banelings, uh, you don't you don't really want to do that if you're on the losing side. You have to make miracles happen. Yeah, dude, this I, I Serial managed to get those lings out. I did not think that was about to happen. And Warren keeping right. the lings alive. One of them falling there, and it looks like more lings marking on the way from both sides here. And oh, Warren canceling out those two lings. And I'm loving the beautiful micro on both sides, actually. Warren has been particularly good with his failing. Oh, oh wow. That was bailings. another detonation that he needed right now. Mm hmm. Warren just with excellent small army control, man. This is just little, little splits like this doing so much damage. Right. I used to think that the creep uh, spread was actually bad because uh, Warren would give more advantage to the attacking player, but now mm -hmm. I actually see that this creep spread has allowed him to get better detonations by having more information on what mm -hmm. happens in the map. 
hey, that yeah, that's fair, because he can actually see his opponent and react to that without having to worry about overlords in exactly the right position. That's right. Now, I recall you saying that Warren's a very cheesy player, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can be, but, not always. Right. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised because although you are encouraged, uh, it is really tempting to carry on the Lingbane phase. He mm -hmm. has actually gone uh, plus one armor, which would mm -hmm. really uh, put him ahead. And he's making uh, drones right now. Uh, yeah. However, I do know that if he does want to go macro, then maybe like a secondary wall would be nice uh, with some cheap evolution chambers. Mm -hmm. um, right. But here comes the addition of 39 lings. Let's see how Ware can defend this. Yeah, dude, some intense ling micro here, but banings are on the field here for Warren. He is waiting for that perfect hit, and uh, Serial trying to tease that out, and just just, just, just playing with him a little bit. Bane's oh, Warren is so good with his ling bane micro. Just when it's about to hit, he doesn't let it hit. But that was the it for Warren's Banelings, and now uh, Serial's got overwhelming advantage, kills off the Queens, kills off most of the Lings. Uh, he's got a 15 army supply advantage right now, and there's only 24 army here for ship map, so... Right, this 18 Lings on the way, but 20 more Lings for uh, Serial. It just seems that going for a macro approach was just not so good, because Serial did not give up. He was very relentless. Yeah, man, this has been super intense but warren's never gonna tap out like i know this guy he is going to play it tooth and nail till the last mineral patch mines out and even right. then he's Be gonna try to i think uh, there was definitely a good attack on the warrens on the serious map because mm -hmm. the drone workers are actually like really low for warren okay uh intense attacks happening the bailings doesn't even have to get a good destination because the mm -hmm. army supply is already favoring warren wow yeah good yeah he's the micro. He's I mean, back macro. in favor. Yeah, he's back in favor of army supply. He's got the worker advantage now. Dude, he is fighting tooth and nail here, man. I'm so okay. proud of this guy. Uh, definitely respect any players who will play it to the end. Yeah, man. Okay, so, so immediately we can tell the difference between the two players is that mm -hmm. while Serio had only eight drones, which was surprising, uh, but actually here comes the Ling run by, and that's the problem when you don't have creep. You are not able to pick this up as fast, and if you can get this queen, that'll be a huge advantage in Ling versus Ling Wars because of the lack of larva. Mm -hmm. But he is getting a lot of these workers instead, and with him already being up on workers, this is a great pickup, and he does get clean as well. So this here plus one armor really playing like such the, a huge role. War is based here, uh, happening down here, mm -hmm. but it's not going to get much done because... Uh, and that'll be it, GG. Warren takes the victory with his persistence and with his macro and micro skills. Yeah. How much of that therapist do you think? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? How much came down to plus one therapist? Uh, plus one carapace is definitely the most amazing upgrade that you can uh -huh. have uh, outside of Ling Speed, of course. Yeah. Uh, the reason is that when those ba uh, Banelings detonate, they leave mm -hmm. the Lings with one hit point left, and that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, if you can just do that, then you would have an immediate scaling of the army supply, even if you're losing. <laughs> Man, this th that was just the most intense game. 2-1 lead right now for Psystorm Gaming. Right. Nocturnal Gamers putting up a really intense uh, series so far. We'll see yeah. who they're sending out next, what map they're going to be playing on. But first, we're going to take a quick break after a word from our sponsors. Felipe, take it away. Thank you so much, Chef. Like he said, we're going to be going to our sponsors in just a minute. Right, that's right, after a uh, week quickly recap that amazing amazing zerg versus zerg incredibly fast intense zerg versus zerg is a matchup that i think is not that fun to play but very very fun to watch because of scrappy games like these anyways a word from our sponsors if you want to be notified when we release videos like this please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't know where that is i'm not going to teach you how to use the internet there's probably no hope for you